this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I wanted to show you just how simple it is to use your soup machine or blender to make homemade hummus. This is absolutely delicious and also perfect if you follow a low calorie diet such as Slimming World or Weight Watchers. You dump it in and you'd be amazed by the results. As well as this recipe, we have more than a thousand recipes for you to choose from over at RecipeThis.com with a common theme of cooked with kitchen gadgets. We have air fryer recipes, instant pot recipes, slow cooker recipes, soup maker recipes, bread machine recipes and many others. We can't wait to see you over there to check out the rest of our collection. If you think a traditional hummus always involves roasted peppers and roasted onions, so what we are doing instead is we are pre-cooking these in the air fryer prior to loading everything into the soup machine. And you don't need any oil for this, so it's fantastic if you are following this recipe for Slimming World or Weight Watchers or just like cutting down on your oil. So start with the peppers and then you just want a small onion because you don't want to add too much onion because otherwise the onion will be really overpowering in your hummus and you really don't want that do you so i would suggest about half of one of these small ones here it doesn't have to be perfectly chopped because remember when you're actually making your hummus these ingredients are going to be blended so you know you don't have to have the fancy onion slices or the fancy thin um, garlic cloves because everything is just kind of mushed together in one to make that wonderful hummus and then once you've done your garlic your onion and your pepper it's ready to load into the air fryer and sit last little offending bits that are stuck and then spread it all out and you're aiming just for a bit quick five minute cook time at 190 celsius 360 fahrenheit and repeat so now we have our roasted pepper onion and garlic and it's ready to be thrown into the soup maker with the other hummus ingredients so into the soup maker, I've added the roasted vegetables and now it's a case of adding everything else into your soup maker. So you've got your tahini. I don't know why, I just stuck to my finger there. And you've got cumin. Paprika always makes hummus so, so delicious. And you can add in as little or as much as you want. I'm just adding that little bit extra because I love paprika. I also recommend adding some salt and pepper. And then as well as those, also add in some lemon juice. George is normally about doing this for me, so I'm actually happy to squeeze my own lemons today because he's still at preschool. And then once you've done those, it's time to start adding in some chickpeas. I recommend that you start with your first can of chickpeas because you don't want to have the problem of it being too thick or too thin. So you can add in these ingredients naturally. So we're starting with a full can of chickpeas with liquid. Very important you include the liquid because otherwise it will be way too thick. So once you've done that, you now want to be adding approximately another one and a half cans of chickpeas, but note these are without the liquid. So drain these before you start. And then you're left with half a can left over so that if it's, if it's not the right consistency, you've got some as your backup. And now you want to place the lid on your soup maker, turn it on. And I tend to go with blend 
and then we'll go and you want to get it to the point where it's struggling to mix because that means it's it's at that lovely thick hummus stage and then give it a mix through and decide if you need to add anything else so i noticed some of the garlic hadn't properly blended then so i'm just going to give it a little bit longer. i'm going to give it a pulse this time and there you have it you have hummus I recommend a taste test now before you load it into bowls. See if you want to add in anything else. It's got a lovely kick to it from the cumin, cumin. And then you can serve it with your favourite cucumber steaks, carrot sticks, or however you like it. So this is my hummus that's all ready for George because George is the chickpea addict of the family. So he'll be getting a portion of this tonight. Though he won't touch the cucumbers. They are more just to show you that cucumbers are fantastic for this hummus. So let's try it, shall we? Mm, this hummus is really, really nice. I bet you're probably thinking that um, nobody's ever suggested making hummus before in the soup machine. Well, it's a fantastic use of any soup maker. Or you can do it in your blender. We, of course, used our Ninja, but prior to this, we would do it in our Morphe Richards. And also, if you're on the, any of the diets, it's great for a snack to have while you're watching TV on a night. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.